Hi there. Uh, today I would like to show you a new feature of Spizzlock server. Uh, it is called kickstarting through uh, proxy CNAME alias. Why we are doing that? Uh, let's imagine you have some server uh, you want to kickstart. In my situation, this one. And you want to kickstart it through proxy. Uh, currently, you have the available to kickstart it only through uh, the current hostname. But for some reason, uh, your network configuration is done in that way that uh, this machine couldn't reach the proxy under its uh, usual name, but it can reach it under different C name alias. Uh, let's imagine uh, proxy dot local net. Uh, currently, there is no way to uh, easily specify the alias for the kickstart. So I done few modification and enhancement uh, which will allow you to kickstart through the, the alias. For this we will have to do two things. Notify the Spizzbox server that the alias is there and generate a new SSL certificate for the proxy. Let's start with the uh, server itself. Uh, in current hardware tab of the proxy we will we can see that uh, there is just host name and the IP address. A new option in the Arch and Conf is available. It is called valid C names. And if you specify valid C names underscore and system ID of the uh, proxy, uh, if you wonder what what is the number, it is this, this one. Uh, and you specify their common separated list of the proxy aliases. I will save it and restart Tomcat. We will wait a few seconds before the Tomcat will be restarted. Okay, start. You can try to reload. Okay, few few moments. We can see right now that uh, Spizzlock server is aware of the new aliases. And if we go to the uh, kickstart part, we have some server we want to kickstart and provisioning and schedule the kickstart. Currently, we have there only the proxy option and we do reload. You can see in tree like manner that uh, there are uh, some some options available uh, and it is the aliases uh, of the proxy original and you can specify uh, either one. But if we uh, just kick start over the bar proxy dot com it will fail because if the anaconda will try to retrieve packages uh, through HTTPS uh, it will fail in validation uh, because the SSL certificate is issued to this hostname only. So what we have to do is uh, to generate new multi-host SSL certificate. How you will do that? The answer is very easy. Uh, you prepare answer file and you can specify there the new uh, variable SSL underscore CNAME and you specify the list of the aliases it is space separated and you can install the proxy in normal way uh, but I will show you uh, that it will fail right now because if you previously generate C8 certificate uh, the configuration file for C8 certificate doesn't contain this specific line. And I will run configure proxy.sh with the answer file and it will fail and warn you that uh, this configuration file doesn't have this line under this section. 
what will happen if this warning will not be here? Wouldn't be here. Uh, it is easy. Uh, the certificate start signed request has request extension, which contains subject alternative name. And if the copy extension was wouldn't there in the configuration file, this uh, part will not make it in the certificate itself. So it will be normal certificate for one host name, and we don't want to do that. So you have to add the copy extension uh, there in the C CA default section. We don't do that automatically because it copy all the extension certificate sign request has and we decided that uh, we let it uh, on the administrator to know that uh, we are copying all the extension uh, and I can imagine the reason uh, he won't don't do that as there are extension beside uh, alternative names so we run the installation again and it goes again. If I don't use the answer file I can uh, use the dash dash set CNAME option uh, and specify the alias jar. I can use it multiple times. We will examine this certificate sign request and certificate itself uh, in a few moments. You can see the certificate sign request contains the subject alternative name for the for the uh, aliases we specify but not the aliases itself uh, it contains even the uh, base hostname of the proxy that is because the when the subject alternative name are specified uh, then the validation is done only again this list of hostname uh, without this extension the validation is done against common name in a subject but if the alternative name are specified, this uh, common name is ignored. And we, we will check that the uh, certificate itself contain the extension, which is due to the copy extension policy, we put there, and it contain uh, subject alternative name section with all the host name specified. So if we access uh, the proxy server using either this one uh, name uh, the SSL validation will succeed so we now use the configure proxy.sh uh, but you may want to install it uh, manually using Cartoon SS2 it's uh, possible uh, you run RHNSS tool as you are um, used to and pass all the uh, variables you know and the new variable is dash dash set c name and you specify the alias there you can specify the dash dash set c name uh, a few times multiple times and if I run it and pass the password there it will generate new certificate and you can see here that it contain contained to foobar proxy.com which I specified on the command line. And that's all. Thank you for your attention.